right guys, so today we are going to learn how to do the drill technique. This technique is great and it's the basis for all Japanese acupuncture techniques. And it actually isn't so hard, it just takes a lot of practice. For those of you who already study Japanese acupuncture, this is actually the basis for SRT. It's the same technique, um, which is essentially they're putting the needle in between their first finger and thumb and doing a rapid um, kind of twitchy movement. Um, except they're using it on the surface of the skin. Nenshin is originally made to do in the body. So I'm gonna show you how to do this close up and then we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do it into my nukubukuro or my little needle pillow here. So here is a close up of my needle. This is a Maida needle. I think in a previous video, I accidentally called it a Yamasho needle. Anyway, um, so it's a Maida needle. It's a handmade needle. Um, you can see it's a little bit, it's a little bit twisted at this point. So I'm just gonna redirect it a little bit. Um, in any case, how to do the nenshin is you're gonna put the needle, always make sure that the needle is coming straight out of your first finger. It's never, ever, ever doing this. No technique should have you doing this with the needle or this with the needle in both insertion and taking the needle out. Always straight out from your first finger and if possible, your thumb. Some people's thumbs are built a little differently. So if yours are, don't worry about it. Okay, and so you're gonna put it straight. The end or the handle, if you can see, is kind of stopping here at my knuckle. There's a reason for that, and that's because you want the knuckle to stop the needle from traveling up your finger. And then you're gonna make, I'm gonna make a large movement here so you can see. Essentially what you're doing is twisting the needle back and forth. You can really see how that needle's bent when it twists. Um, you're just gonna be twisting it back and forth. However, in the actual nenshin or drill te technique, you're just doing a very slight movement and you're just moving your thumb. Don't move your first finger, which is actually quite difficult. Do you see how that makes my first finger bend? You're gonna just move, keep that first finger nice and straight. Just move the thumb here and you're just gonna twist it back and forth as small as you can to make, and I'm gonna try to do this slow, just a slight twist to the left and right. This isn't a full 90 degree, it's not even a 45 degree turn, it's a very small turn. Um, and then to speed it up, it just looks like you have a really bad twitch. All right, and so now I'm gonna show you how to use this on the body. Puncture practice, it's really quite simple. Get your needle pillow, again, mine is a nukubukuro, but yours doesn't have to be, it can be anything that just has some dexterity to it. Towels are usually a little bit too flimsy. You're again going to use your oshide like you do in all Japanese acupuncture practice. Oshide is typically the left hand, unless you're a left-handed person, and then of course it's the opposite. You're going to find your point and say hello. You're going to get into a nice horse stance. Make sure the needle is in front of your belly button. Uh, not your belly button, your um, dantian. Say hello to your point. You're going to place your needle. Old little man's waking up. And then you're going to do your drill technique to insert the needle into the body or into your needle pillow. Now what you're gonna find with the silver needles when you do this is again, it's very hard to insert them because they are very soft and malleable metals. Uh, they're made from soft and malleable metals. Um, and so they're not gonna wanna go past some things and they're gonna give you a little bit of an issue. You can see mine is bending a little bit. A lot of times people will bend their needle on accident because um, they're just so soft and they're not used to using such thin, soft metals. This is actually a blue size sarin, so it's just a soft, malleable metal. You're going to want to insert it and then take it out um, at the same speed and make sure to insert it to about needle top moxa height. So, you know, I would say it should be about that far into your, your needle pillow or into your, your patient's body or your own body. I definitely recommend with all practice that you practice first on something that is not alive, then practice on yourself, then practice on friends and family, and then practice it on your patients because that's just a safe thing to do. <laughs> anyway, um, make sure to get feedback along the way as you're doing this. If you have any questions or comments about this technique, uh, it's a very basic technique, but it takes a lot of time and a lot of work. Feel free to put those questions or comments below. You can also contact me through bumblebeeacu.com. Um, and I put on a lot of mock question seminars in Japan and uh, outside of Japan So we can definitely set something up to have more hands-on learning in your area Yeah, and um, until I see you and hopefully I will soon Happy learning